let's discuss access control now the topic name is access control okay so what is access control assuming that uh, we are having links of two types where you can say there are two types of links which we have number one is the broadcast link broadcast channel and second one is your point to point channel point to point channel broadcast channel and point to point channel what do you mean by broadcast channel broadcast channel means if in the network there are more than one computers or there are more than one hosts which are attached like you can see in this in this case uh, we have six hosts which are connected <coughs> sorry right so if for example this computer like this if this computer wants to send data to all the other systems all the other computers then obviously he can broadcast it, it that is called as broadcasting that is a single point in send, sending data or some data packets or communicating with more than one uh, you know uh, hosts it is called as broadcasting okay and when we discuss about point to point channel point to point channel is if this is a sender now this sender is connected to a single receiver right so that is one point is connected to another point this is called as point to point channel right so uh, let me repeat it again if two computers in the same network are sending or broadcasting data at the same time now there might be a collision okay that is called as uh, th then we'll be discussing what access control access control means uh, let us if for example we have two computers or two hosts in the same network in the same networks are sending sending slash broadcasting broadcasting data at the same time data at the same time at the same time then there may be a possibility of collision there might be a collision there might be a collision okay uh, what do i mean to say is assuming that if i number the host this is host a b c d e and f assuming that host number a wants to transmit some data through this network at the same time host f also no decided to transmit the data at the same time now if both of them wants to transmit the data at the same time then it may happen that this data will collide somewhere in the middle now if this data will collide somewhere in the middle then uh, this you know this channel uh, or, or can say the host other host which will be receiving the data they will receive a corrupted data they will receive a corrupted data right and corrupted data is not worth it right so when when i'm saying access control access control means if this is the channel and if there are more than one hosts which are present in the network now to which host should we give access to send the data at at one time for example if here i am giving access to both a and f simultaneously then it might happen that uh, there there may be a collision between these two hosts or can say data which they are sending uh, there might be a collision therefore access to this link has to be controlled in such a way that if one station is sending the data then other should not for example here you can see uh, if station a is sending the data then station b should not send the data or station f should not send the data or station e should not send the data if one station is sending the data then we should not give access to the other station for this channel uh, to send the data simultaneously or send the data at the same time so if more than one station is sending the data at the same time then there should not be any collision in the channel it may happen see if for example the same network it if it may happen if a wants to send the data to b or a wants to send the data to c and f wants to send the data to e or d then it may it might happen that they will not be having any kind of collision but if f wants to send the data to a and a want to send the data to f then obviously there will be a collision so when i'm saying access control again access control means we have to control this channel in such a way that there, there will not be any kind of collision 
right and it, uh, or or you can say we should not allow the system to send the data simultaneously at the same time now even if we allow then we should make sure that there should not be any kind of collision okay that is called as access control now for access control we have different mechanism number one is the tdma tdma that is time division multiple access time division multiple access multiple access second one is you know tdma with polling you can see we have tdma with polling then we have csma cd then we have token ring token ring to ensure access control right so in get slavers they remove the token ring part we have tdma time division multiple access and csma cd and in ugc net we have uh, tdma csma cd and even token ring so i'm going to discuss all these here a here's uh, even token ring even we have token bus that or uh, that will also that will be discussed so right now we'll be starting with tdma that is a time division multiple access okay so let me uh, move if before moving to on to the next topic which is tdma time division multiple access let me revise this again so when i'm saying access control access control means with if for example there's a sender and there is a receiver if sender and receiver wants to send the data at the same time simultaneously then it might happen that if they are sending the data then there may be some kind of collision between the network if uh, now if because of this collision the data will get corrupted so we should not give access to more than one uh, host to send the data parallelly okay so let us discuss about tdma what is the time division multiple access